Steven? Yes. Um, what is something that you do consciously or maybe unconsciously now that you probably never thought you would do before? What is something that you do consciously now, or maybe subconsciously, or even unintentionally, that you would never have done before, that you catch yourself doing now, consciously or unconsciously? Um, consciously or unconsciously, that I do now, that I never do. I mean, you've gone through a lot of changes, yeah. so I'm sure, you know, your actions, your thoughts, your emotions uh, is, is somewhat quite different. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, there must be some must be something that you do now that you would probably never have thought that you would be doing, that you uh, would do in the past. Did you take up tap dancing, for instance? <laughs> um, well, doing these, uh, doing these videos, you know, I never, never thought of doing anything like that. But um, you know, um, working with the kids um, at the Boys and Girls Club and that kind of stuff. Um, you know, before I was always about. You know, probably, you know, more so I think about my kids and, and that, and it was like, all right, that's really all I needed to do. Um, I didn't need to help other people. I just got to help my kids. Um, so, you know, with that, you know, I, I can definitely say that when I, um, you know, when I moved up here out of the house and and I basically was like, all right, I need to do something because now I'm sitting around and I have too much time on my hands. And uh, <clears throat> I, I basically was like, I, I have to do something, you know, whether it's volunteering, helping others in some way, shape, or form, you know. Um, it's obviously suggested that I work with another alcoholic, other addicts, which is fine, I can do that. Um, but. I think truth, um, honestly, I, I think that, you know, I can take my experiences as a child um, I can take my experiences as a child and um, and use it for good. Um, You know, it's, I know it's a lot of, you know, it's hard, obviously. Um, you know, it's stuff that I've dealt with for 40 years. And, um, you know, I, I think now that I'm in a better space and uh, more aware of, you know, what 
necessarily happen to me it happens. I mean, I know that it happens to probably millions of people in the world. Um, and, but, uh, you know, it's kind of like I have to take, you know, the, the stuff or the pain that I went through as a kid and, and as an adult or whatever and use that to do something positive, you know, because um, I know obviously the stuff is still out there. It's probably worse now than it was when I was a kid. Uh, Um, you know, I blamed a lot of that, <clears throat> you know, um, either consciously or unconsciously, subconsciously, whatever, um, as to why I drank and had to do drugs or had to felt the need to be loved and all that, you know, even though I was, you know, um, it was just never enough, always feeling less than, you know, um, <clears throat> Can't say that. I just know that what was what was done to me, you know, was done to others, and basically, I can now use that, you know, work off of that pain um, to get back to others that are going through the same thing or similar um, things, so that they don't feel like they have to you know, do drugs or drink or to make themselves feel better about themselves, they can actually talk to somebody. And I know it's difficult because I didn't. Um, I buried that shit, you know, and it, it... It ate me alive, you know? I don't know, you know, there's, there's obviously ways to get through it, you know, and it's, um, I've tried to reach out to, um, I don't know how to say it, my abusers, I guess I'll just say it, you know, be straight out, um, you know, and get no response, but it's like, you know what, I can't, you know, it falls along the lines of, I can't control, um, you know, how other people do things, or if they're even going to respond, um, you know, but I have to do something in order to move forward, um, and one way to do that is doing the volunteering, um, and I've come across kids, I've worked with kids that have, you know, shown signs that I had when I was a kid, um, you know, and it's, it just scares me that, you know, these kids have to go through the stuff that they, they're going through and they think they're alone, you know. Um, you know, because I always thought I was alone in my abuse and um, had no idea that it was something that a lot of other people go through, friends. I know have had the same things happen to them as children, um, you know, and they're doing all right, <laughs> you know, so it's like, why, why am I not able to let go of that shit, I don't know, but, um, you know, I'm, right now, I'm, I'm trying to work through it, um, obviously with your help um, you know suggestions you've made to me suggestions you know others have made to me you know write a letter you know just put it all just get it out and get rid of it you know, because obviously it still affects me. Um, it's 
so uh, I don't know really that's you know I think just helping others and helping hopefully reaching you know either other reaching kids or, or addicts or, or, or anyone that is struggling with uh, going through that as a child you know abuse is not spoke about it's it's kind of like hush hush and which is bullshit, you know. I mean, if anything, that's it needs to be brought to the surface and dealt with, so that we don't these kids don't have to go through life, or adults who are dealing with it now don't have to continue to go through life and, um, feeling less than, or feeling like nobody loves them, you know, kind of stuff. Oh. <sighs>